Hello guys, I'm Timothy Earl from Earl Sports Bets and Picks and Parlays, and welcome back to another edition of Balling Out with Tim Earl. NBA playoffs on Saturday. A bunch of, uh, let's see, game four, game four, game three, game three. So a uh, bunch of uh, game threes and fours going over. We'll talk about all four of those games. No MLB, no NHL on today's card uh, for this video, but we will talk over some uh, four games. Uh, before we jump into it, uh, check out the picksandparlays.net website. Check out the link in the description, picksandparlays.net forward slash Tim. And you guys can either pick up the MLB or the NBA uh, week past $70. You go ahead and check those out. Uh, see, uh, and then go ahead and grab the picks up, uh, plays up for a week. Let's head into it. Uh, the Sixers and the Nets will be going after it in game number four. The Sixers are two-point favorites. 208 is the total. Why is this uh, only a two-point spread? It's because the clown is out. Sorry, Joel Embiid is out for today's game. So the line dropped from a six to a two. And um, I think it moved too much. Uh, I normally, you got to fade the injury report. Joel Embiid going out. The Sixers team is plays sometimes better with them. They were over 500 in the regular season when he was out. I believe they were, what, nine and four, nine and five, ten and four, something like that. When he is out, um, I think they sweep the series. Finish. I think they finish it off tomorrow. Uh, I know it's a short line, but no Embiid, so I do think it's the right thing for it. We'll go ahead and take the Sixers minus the two. We'll head to the Suns and the Clippers. Suns, seven and a half point favorites. 225 is the total in this one, <clears throat> and I've bet them every single game so far. I'm going to be back on them. I know. No Kawhi Leonard again. Um they, they played a close game last time. I think they'll play another close game here. And I think the Clippers still have a chance to win even without them. I am not high on this Suns team, not by any stretch of the imagination. I faded them all throughout the playoff so far. Uh, so far it is um, – well, unfortunately, I got a bad line on game three before the injury news. It happens, uh, but I'm on the Clippers plus seven and a half in this one. We'll go over to the Bucks and the Heat. The Bucks are five-point favorites with a total of 220.5. And, and Giannis's status is still up in the air for this one. Uh, the series is tied up at one. But one thing that we do notice with this Bucks team is they are deep. And uh, I'm not worried about it whatsoever. Um, this is the, it, we, we always notice in the NBA, whenever the teams, whoever win the championship, you know what they got? They got a deep bench, and that's exactly what Milwaukee's got. Um, I think this is going to be another one of those games where they, they end up winning by double digits. We'll go ahead and take the Bucks in this one. The final one is the Grizzlies and the Lakers. The Lakers are four-point favorites with a total of 220.5. And, a half. and um, another one of those, uh, John Morant is a game-time decision for this game. Uh, so he's, his status is up in the air as well. But uh, I don't. I don't think the Lakers should be favored, um, or I don't think they should be this big of a favorite. I'll take the Grizzlies in this one. I think they're the better team still. I'll grab them plus the points. I think they win this game outright um, and take a two to one series lead. I still think the Grizzlies win the series. I know bull take taking a a two over a seven, but I I do believe that the Grizzlies um, take this game with or without John Morant. This line's telling me that they're going to be without him, but. I do like the Grizzlies still in this matchup. Give me them plus those four points. Those are your four games in the NBA. We got a sides for all of them. We go in Sixers. We're going Clippers. We're going Bucks and Grizzlies. Those are your four plays. Um, once again, if you guys are interested in the MLB or the N uh, NBA passes, uh, one week pass for $70. Picksandparleys.net forward slash Tim. That is going to do it for this episode of Balling Out with Tim Earl. I want to thank you guys all for watching. Until next time, let's make some money. Let's cash some bets in the NBA playoffs.